Hello and welcome back to yes another pack opening. So as you can see here today, I have two Pokeballs. I have the Ultra Ball and I have a Dive Ball here. So I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to open the two balls up and then find out what packs we have. So here we have Um, I can't tell what that is, but we have a coin there, which you get in one, or well, you get in every um, Pokeball that you purchase, and you and also have that, the same coin in the other Pokeball. Or the other, or in the ultra ball, I should say. First one was the nest ball that I opened. So you can see here that you get three packs in each. Oh, I'm going to move these off to make sure I've got enough room. You get three packs in each Pokeball, and as you can see here, you've got an evolutions pack in each Pokeball. So that is perfect. That is going to be the last packs that we open. Um, I also got um, Sun and Moon Lost Thunder here with Lugia on the artwork. And here we have the Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. So um, I might as well start with the Burning Shadows. Um, so if you saw my video from a couple of days ago where I opened... What did I open? A... It might have even been a Burning Shadows. And another pack. I, I fumbled everything. I couldn't I couldn't speak. Could not speak to save my life. So hopefully today I do a little bit better. It doesn't help. I don't really know these sets. So I'm very I'm very confident on Gen 1 Pokemon. Is that still recording? Oh, okay, cool. All right, sorry about that. Um, I'm very confident on Gen 1 Pokemon, and I'm very confident on the latest generation, which I believe is Generation 8. And then some of Gen 2, some of Gen 3, and then sort of everywhere in between, I'm not I'm not 100% on, unfortunately. So please bear with me. I do try and make it as enjoyable as I can, but um, yeah, some of them I just don't know. Right, Metal Energy, we have a Rhydon, I definitely know that Pokemon. We have a Lunar's Tone, we have a Seedra, we have a Sandy Ghast, we have a Caterpie, oh, I like that artwork. So although this is clearly uh, an older set, um, I don't think I've opened much I've opened a couple of Burning Shadows just because they come in trays and other Pokeballs that I've purchased. But So a lot of these cards I wouldn't have seen before. Um, so a Lady Bar. An, an Inkay. I like that as well. We have a, a Crab Roller. We have a Reverse Holo Super Scoop Up. Very nice. And the last card of the pack is a, a, a Tuxel Crocs. A Toxy, Toxic Croc. Yeah, a Toxic Croc. Toxic Croc. Regular, rare. So yeah, like I said, I do apologise. I am probably going to butcher a whole bunch of these Pokemon's names. And I do apologise, but... I'm here to learn. I'm definitely, definitely here to learn. I do not know um, what cards are good in this set at all. That could be a very good pull right there. And I've just absolutely butchered the name and absolutely butchered the, the excitement on it. But unfortunately, I can't get excited for something that I don't know. But hopefully in time, I will pick up these other Pokemon. So here we go into the second second pack of the Burning Shadows. Get rid of the code card. Go one, two, three, four from the back. 
and then we have a thunder energy lovely right so so like i said because i don't know these sets i don't actually know what to expect we have bodybuilding dumbbells we have a ride on again we have an electric we have an alolan ratata we have a mudbray magikarp we have a panzer we have a a croconock croco gunk so i assume that evolves into that yes it does <laughs> oh a reverse hollow slime sim sim oh, oh my god a simmer sage sorry i thought that was an l it's not it's an i a reverse hollow simmer sage very nice i love i like the reverse hollow patterns on this like the big the big leaf energy there and then the small the smaller leaf energies on the side i like that reverse hollow pattern and the last card of the pack is a oh oh dark rear ex dark rear ex oh wait so is oh okay wait 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 is this the set was it burning shadows is that that Is that the same card? 180, 88. Ah, oh, no, it's a different. Ah, oh, it's a different variant. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Now it looks like I'm just showing off there. All right. So no, it's not. It's the same. It's the same Pokemon, but a, a different card. I thought. I thought that was from that set. But okay. All right. So we got an. We got an EX, and a and a regular rare from the two packs. But that's still they're still decent. Apparently, this is a dark dragon type Pokemon, which I found out when I got the rainbow rare. Very disappointed. That card went for not as much as it should have on eBay, apparently. Uh, someone's got an absolute steal out there for that rainbow rare card. <laughs> um, won't be making that mistake again. Uh, but yeah, a dark rare, dark rare GX card. So very nice. Like I said, I do apologise because I don't know these sets very well. So I don't know a lot of the Pokemon or what cards to expect or or anything like that. Um, Evolutions and Vivid Voltage is like probably like the main sets that I open. Um, so here, again, we have a Lost Thunder pack. So I know Lugier on the front. <laughs> so uh, Oh, okay, all right, so the code card is different on this one. So does that mean the card trick is gonna be different? Oh no, I don't know the card trick. So, okay, all right, okay, yeah, it is, it is. So yeah, four from the back, so I've already done it. All right, all right, okay. So the, co the code card is different, it came out a different way. So I don't know whether um, whether this is going to make a difference or not. I don't know whether I need to hide it or not. But we have, right, so we have a water energy. We have a shuckle. We have a spell tag. We have a memory energy. We have a slowpoke. Very nice. I like that. It's a, it's a very weird slowpoke, but I do like that. <laughs> we have a chub chu. We have an Alona Diglett. An Alolan Indignant, even. We have a Natu. We have a Chikorita. Remember this Pokemon very well from the um, animated series. We have... Ooh. Oh! Okay. Uh, this is... This is... This is a Prism... This is a Prism card. This is a Prism card. And this is very nice. And I do not... Uh, this this Pokemon's in Vivid Voltage. And I, I don't know how to pronounce the name of it at all. I'm not going to bother. Hopefully, you guys know what this is. Or you can read the, read the name on top of it. I do not like <laughs> trying to pronounce this one. But okay. So, th so, this is my very first Prism card that I've packed. I don't know if they're in many sets. If they're in every set or whatever. Well, they're definitely not in Vivid Voltage. But... They're very nice, very nice. So I assume that's not surely. Well, maybe we'll find that in the next pack. But that that can't just be a reverse hollow. Prism cards are definitely separate special cards that you get. 
So is the last card going to be... Okay, so the last um, card is an unknown. Just unknown. It doesn't have a letter on it. I know there are some unknowns with letters on it, but yeah. But I, I, yeah, I must have done the card trick right because there was an energy on the front. And that must be a rare card. That must just be a regular rare. So in the reverse holo spot, spot <laughs> even, there was a prism card. And my very first prism card. It looks lovely as well. I like this a lot. It's a shame that I just don't know the Pokemon, which is like <laughs> probably so demoralizing to some of you. <laughs> well, hopefully people are watching this. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, right. So Lost Lost Thunder. That's a that's a, um, a bit of a nice set. I knew all the Pokemon up until this point. So so the co okay, right. So so my code card came out green. But so this code card obviously doesn't make a difference to whether it's green or white, whether it's a good pull or not. That's why it must be the other way around. So one, two, three, four from the back. And then, yeah, okay, right, so here we go. So we have a Psychic Energy. We have a Shintano. We have a Fairy Charm. We have a Gogoat. We have a Combi. Or combi. We have a uh, Marini. I've never seen that Pokemon before. We have a Larvitar. We have a Slowpoke again. I like this artwork. Uh, we have a Chubchu again. I'm pretty sure we got them back to back in the last pack. Ooh, okay, right, yeah, so so that confirms it. The prism card is in the reverse holo spot. So here we have the reverse holo Alolan Diglett, which is very nice. And then the last card of the pack is a... Ooh, an Espeon. Very nice. A regular rare Espeon, unfortunately. But um, Espeon is the psychic evolution of Eevee. Obviously, um, later than Gen 1, because that was only Fire, Water and Thunder, Electric, whatever you want to call it. But this is the Psychic variant of it. I do like an Espeon. Very nice card. Um, so ha uh, happy with that, happy with the regular rare Espeon. But obviously the pull of these two packs was the Prism card. And um going to be interesting to see what... Well, see what this is worth. I, I'm going to say it. I, I don't like talking about it because like, I, although, yes, I do sell my cards, I, I only normally sell my duplicates and it's not all about the money because I like this. But it will be interesting to see how rare this card actually is because, um, well, I haven't got a Prism card before. So very nice. Very nice. All right. So I'm going to keep all my going to keep all the sets together. So I can separate them properly. Or have them separated properly. So here we go. These are what probably most people are going to be watching for. So have to leave them till last. So if you are still around here, thank you very much for putting up with those four packs and my awful pronunciation of Pokemon there. <laughs> it's going to improve a lot better now. Um, so, but if you are new around here, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Help me out. Information is always helpful, um, whether it be lighting, timing, packs. If I got a name of the Pokeball wrong by some weird mistake, let me know. Always good to learn. Always happy to learn. But here we go. I'm going to open up Blastoids pack first, because obviously we always hope there's a Charizard in a Charizard. So here we go. Blastoids. So I do know that these code cards definitely do make a difference. So hide the code card and then one, two, three from the back. And then here we go. We have a Porygon as the first Pokemon. Very nice. So these are obviously old school cards. We have a Full Hill. We have a Poliwhirl. So Bit of a spoiler, because I would have uploaded the video already, but I got a reverse holo poly world the other day, which was very nice for, and was new to my collection, my binder. We have a Rattata, but the poly world was not the best pull in that 
video. So if you go back and watch the Evolutions pack opening, that's all it was. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do anything else. I just opened three Evolutions packs. And um, yeah, I got that. The Polywell was not the best pull in that video. So there we have a Growlithe. We have a Nidoran. We have a Vulpix. We have a Sandshrew. And I believe the next one is the Reverse Hollow. It is. We have the Reverse Hollow Mac Chop. Very nice. So this one doesn't have the the um, energies or the type in the foil. It just it just has a foil on it, which is very nice. I do like the design of that. So you can get all kinds of angles on it. Not directly into the light though. Sorry, it's a bit close there. All right. So and the last card of the pack is a. Ooh, a Chansey Hollow. Lovely. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So I've only ever pulled two Hollows from this Evolutions um, set. Haven't opened a lot of it, but they've both been Clefairies. So to finally get just a different Hollow, <laughs> a Chansey is very nice as well. Probably, probably, I know it's not the most expensive one. It's probably very common, but... To get a Chansey Hollow, I will take that. I will take that all day long. And this means that this will definitely be going into my binder. Along with my Reverse Hollow Mac Chop. Very nice. And I do believe that I got the rest. I already have the rest of the common cards. Which is um, a little annoying. But, you know, you can't expect to get... All new cards all the time so here we go can we keep it up can we hit two for two can we hit two hollows in two packs of evolutions or maybe better maybe maybe an ex uh i mean hopefully not a break card because that would be very annoying uh one two three from the back and then we have we have a coughing i'm gonna get a break card now because i sound ungrateful i know i am as long as it's not a Nido King or a Nine Tails, because I have them already. So we have a Coughing. We have a Misty's Determination. We have a Revive. We have a Magic Up. Ghastly or Ghastly. We have a Sandshrew. We have a Weedle. We have a Tangela. And then I believe the next one is the Reverse Hollow Spot. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I said it. I said it. Oh, we have... Oh, I'll tell you what as well. Um, now that I've seen it, I think I've got this one as well. Oh, that's unreal. That's unreal. So, yeah. If you have seen my video before, you will know my feelings on break cards. Um, But, yeah, they're not... I don't think they're great. Turn uh, any card that you have to turn sideways, just isn't isn't for me to be honest. I I don't like them. Um, I don't like how they're all gold or yellow. Um, but fingers crossed, I haven't got this one. Uh, my bind is out of reach, so I can't look at the minute. But yeah, fingers crossed, I haven't got this one. And then best case, it goes into my binder. Worst case, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do because they're not worth anything. Again, not that, I, not that I'm doing it to make money as such, but I do like to sell them. But if the if the card is only worth a pound, it's not worth me selling a card for a pound because a first class stamp costs me 72p. It's, it's not going to be beneficial to me. And the last card of the pack is an RK9, which is a fantastic Pokemon, but unfortunately just a regular rare RK9. Probably one of the best Gen 1 Pokemon out there. Just looks great, strong, second evolution. Haven't tampered with it either. They haven't added a third um, third evolution to RK9. It's just stayed true to Growlithe and RK9, so very nice, but a regular rare. So we started off with the rare in the Chansey, and then we got the reverse holo Matt Chomp, and we got a got a break card <laughs> Matt Champ. I can't believe that. I knew I knew it was going to happen as well. But 
anyway thank you very much for watching hopefully you stuck around hopefully you enjoyed the cards um please like subscribe like i said comment on it um i will be uploading videos very soon i think the next video is possibly going to be my purchase that i've got for vivid voltage and i'm going to be putting it into the binder and just giving you an overall update of cards that i've brought uh, or how the binder is getting on i have not got many cards left at all in the vivid voltage set if you would like to see um me doing it for the evolution set as well let me know in the comments and i'll do it for you but for now Take care. See ya.